Hey, what is going on guys? It's Zero here. Welcome to another episode of Bundle Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Death's Touch. See, I thought that this right here, this is a Galil, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive, yeah. I thought that this right here was going to be a Mastercraft when I saw it before the leaks came out. But this, it was only a thousand coins. If This is the best bundle I've, re I've uh, reviewed for its price. You only get, listen to this, you get the Assault Rifle, right? And then you get a Skull Charm. That's pretty much the only two good things. For a thousand, that's not bad. But you also get a heartstring emblem, calling card. Let's zoom in on the heartstring too. Lifeblood emblem, stack them high sticker. So you get a lot of extra stuff too. At least they give you some extra stuff. It's at least it's not just the gun in that. But uh, for me, it's really these two gun, two things that are just really nice in this bundle. So we're gonna buy this right here, guys. All right, guys. So let's check this out. It looks really nice. You can't really look at the skull in the game, but it just looks really good. It's got the chains all around it and stuff like that. I, I really like this design. This is like one of my favorite guns, so I knew I was going to buy this before it even came out. I didn't even care what price it was. I honestly thought this was going to be a Mastercraft variant. Target removed. Snuck up on me. Yeah, I really like the way that this gun looks, honestly. I would definitely buy this if you guys are a picky buyer. I would definitely go for this one because I genuinely thought that this was going to be a Mastercraft. This really looked like a Mastercraft to me, but if you can get it and it's only a thousand COD points, I mean, that's the best deal that they've come out with, I think, in total. I might even, I'm going to get this a 10 out of 10, actually, just because of the price. Like, honestly, this is a Mastercraft for a thousand coins labeled as a legendary basically they charge you on whatever it's called and this is called a legendary so it's cheaper i guess but it's mastercraft status i mean most variants don't really change things about the gun they'll change certain attachments and make it look slightly different but if major things change like the rocket on the ak then that you have you end up paying like 2500 or more cod points and this is literally only a thousand cod points. Pretty much a mastercraft for a thousand cod points, and I don't, I wouldn't pass up that deal. I mean, I definitely buy this one out of all the bundles that I've reviewed. I think this one is probably the best bang for your buck. This gun is honestly, this is ripping through them, especially. Pro tip: always use a suppressor. I, I say it in most of my videos. I try to say it in a lot of them, just because that's literally the best thing. This game is a suppressor. Most Call of Duties, a lot of people just use suppressors, but like Modern Warfare with its radar and shit like that, a lot of people stopped using their their suppressors because it didn't matter that much. Only if pe for people that like cranked up their headphones to the very max. But now, you could play this game and just stare at the radar the whole time, and you know where everybody is on the map. But if you have a suppressor that, and somebody cannot detect you on the map, that's just one more advantage that you can get in this game, honestly. I would not pass it up. On most of my classes, I have the gunfighter calling card, which, uh, wild card, which makes it so that you could have all the attachments unlocked, like seven or eight or whatever the number is, I don't even know. But I have that on pretty much all of my classes, because if I'm going for something, I'm going with that gun. You could still make a shotgun or a pistol pretty good with just five attachment slots, but your primary is what you want all of it on, honestly. But to different situations where those other wild cards definitely come in hand like obviously if you're using a melee class then you can do the two uh the, the one where you can get six perks or whatever why does this keep popping up anytime i hit a it pops up what the hell i can't what the heck that's weird every time i hit a the text menu pops up that makes for some really good content wow oh my god it's a very horrible not not horrible but that was okay. I mean, there was a lot of running in between right there, and they didn't even get that kill. I don't know if I killed him, but 
Anyways, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I would definitely recommend buying this bundle if you don't buy a lot, just because it's basically a Mastercraft for a thousand COD points, honestly. This is a really good bang for your buck. And, uh, yeah. By the way, I switched up my, uh... By the way, if you guys don't know, they came out with a bunch of different of these, um, emblems. By the way, if you guys didn't know, they came out with a ton of these different prestige icons, uh, in an update a little while ago. Now we have, like, Modern Warfare. I think we already had World at War. Modern Warfare 2, uh, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, we got Black Ops 2, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, these are two brand new ones, that's awesome. Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 Zombies, I don't think this was here either. Um, Infinite Warfare, didn't have this. Wow, well, I want those. At least you have the option, I guess. And then you got World War 2, and then we got World War 2 Multiplayer, we got Black Ops 4, we got Black Ops 4 Zombies, Black Ops 4 Blackout. There's just so many new ones now, it's insane. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and turn bell notifications on as well. You might as well just hit the subscribe button. I mean, you're already there. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.